Nothing will ever be the same. Behold, the Carolina Reaper. In its mighty wake, there are but two epochs. Ha, eras. Epoch means eras. The age before and the age post-liminary. Um, the age after. Their only divider is the elusive moment of transcendence. The moment the Carolina Reaper is in your mouth. Come on, let me talk about it. What? In our most popular online poll, like, ever, we asked y'all to pick the most insane thing we could make, Walty, and you guys deliver. And now the moment of reckoning has finally arrived. Wait, guys, wait. Let's take a moment of silence for Walt's taste buds. For they shan't never savor Captain Crunch again. Not the captain! No more Kiwanis Day's pancakes. Oh. No more SpongeBob SpaghettiOs. Oh. Hey, liver's about to get a whole lot easier to swallow. It's good for you. This sacrifice is great. But the needs of the many outweigh the His needs of the His taste buds are the hero we My deserve. friends, a moment. <laughs> Come on. All right. Ready? What? What? We are live here, man. I I'm not so sure about this. Just cold feet? Well, the Reaper will warm them up. What? Okay. Okay, Walt. Look, I don't want to pressure you into doing this. You know, but this is our best chance to win here. We need this. Yeah. Yes. yes. Let's do it! Working. I don't think we've ever had this many views. No. Subscribers are up too. Yeah, and look at this. It's not such a long shot now. We can win this. Yeah. Well, look, we've got a palpable lead, but it's not insurmountable. Okay, go. Well, just say they can catch us. Okay, well, how are we trending compared to the others? Okay, let's see. Well, at the rate Duncan Bones posts and the rather unpredictable nature of a viral variety. We are going to need to follow up with at least two videos a week for the rest of the month. That could likely keep us ahead with subscriber views. The competition is stiff. And older. And aren't being shipped off the face of the known universe for the rest of the summer. Caleb! Aren't all of you here because of those stupid things? Um... I was under the impression it was because we made Walt puke for two hours. Or maybe it's because he still can't say a word. Um, I mean, he can tag. All your stupid phones up here, right now. Here you go, Chelsea. Ah! What? Oh, Are you sure the ride here with her isn't punishment enough? Huh, yeah, she's a horrible driver. This is her third car. That's her fifth phone. So what do you guys make at this place where we're going? Camp Analog. You know, uh, Kelso Briggs went there last summer. Yeah, he told me about it in algebra. Yeah? Yeah, it's, uh... What? I don't know. It's creepy. What? Creepy. Look, before he went, He's gaming like mad, right? I mean, he's doing daily Warcraft raids, he's nationally ranked in Destiny, he's doing constant Let's Plays on his channel. I mean, he's even keeping his sister's old Neopet alive. He's the kind of guy who would uh, relieve himself in a bottle to stay at his Jeez. post, you know what I mean? Okay, but I thought he stopped doing his channel. Yeah. You know, when he came back, he was like a pod person. A drone. Yeah, I mean, his parents cut the Wi-Fi, he sold off all his recording gear and all his games. He shut down his channel, his entire outlook on life changed. This isn't a summer camp. It's a brainwashing program. You guys are a bunch of idiots. If you really want weirdos on the internet to take you seriously, you guys need to grow up. Ignore her. Besides, we're going in with tools. Ready to resist the brainwashing. <laughs> you got the ringer? Uh, okay. uh, I'm not 
think we can manage a couple of posts a week. In secret, of course. If we can survive the indoctrination, that is. What? You know, don't turn into drones. Okay, yeah, tail drive. Look, eyes on the prize, guys. Winning this thing is our ticket to being taken seriously by our parents, and by the school, by the world. We won't just be dumb kids with a video camera anymore. You know, we'll have a voice, and nothing will ever be the same. Rise and shine, Camp Analogers. Make your voices heard and welcome in this morning's fresh slate of betas as we start up another life-changing session. Excited to spread the gospel of the fun, fidelity, and freedom of the great outdoors. This morning, it's breakfast for all your alphas as the beta gets settled in our registration. Noobs. When who's going to give us trouble this time? Remember to wear your suspenders proudly in helping lost betas find their way around the camp. As three betas, after registration, please head to your site cabins to unpack and change your channel on I heard you. I love you too. Remember, campers must always be in standard camp analog brand of attire while on the site. For you lucky green eyes, this shirt really makes them pop. Alright guys, remember. After they've checked the ringer, the vault's still on the table. Okay. Jordan, you see that? Uh, oh, never mind. Look at your boys. Then I'll get you guys signed in right over here. I'm gonna need your watch. Excuse me? You know, I was made after the bicentennial. On purpose, I'm sure. Thank you, get it back when you leave. Okay, uh, name. There a problem? Yeah, um, were you talking to me or to him? Hilarious, you. Oh, well, uh, Jordan. My name's McPhee, Thomas McPhee. What? You know, said the last name first. Hey, Brainless, it says Zane. Okay, yeah, what's your name? What? No, no, his name. My name? Yeah. What, what, your name? I already said we have name tags. Who has name tags? What? Who? Me? No, you. Oh, me. He has a name tag. I don't have a name tag. No, so I don't no, get you one. Don't have a name tag. I do have a name tag. No, you. No, no, I definitely don't have a name tag. Me? Do no, you no, name no, tags? I don't. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Alright, no, stop no, no, no. this now. Name? Thomas McPhee. Name? Ryan Boyd. The Chili Peppers. Not a nice thing you guys did there, bullying your friend like that. We didn't bully anybody. Yeah, he actually volunteered, so you might want to check your data. Sure. Okay, you back there. Name's Bennett Benson. 
Wait a minute. Uh, Mr. Alliteration, you are in the wrong place. What? Yeah. What? Birthday missed the cut off the bunk with these two. So take your bags and check in at table G. We were actually really counting on being together. This doesn't seem very fair. Oh, I'm sorry. We're all about being fair as long as you follow the rules. And the rules say table G, so bye bye Um, I guess I'll see you around. You. You Caleb? What? Calm down, man. It says you guys are coming together. Where was that? Guys. Oh, um, him? Wait, what? What are you talking about? No, I think it means you. No. Him? What? No. Him? Wait. No, no, no. Him. This is Ryan. This Me. is Caleb. I'm no, uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm done with you two Yazoo's right now. Not this okay. way. What? No. Wait, what are you talking about? No, Ryan and Tom. No. No, I've already got your name. Me? Wait, what? This is Ryan. What are you talking about? I said him. This isn't Caleb. Okay, no, he was. I said him. I'm Caleb. Perfect. All right, you're signed in. Bags check out. All clear. Wait a minute, I didn't check the front pocket. Recent printings. Contraband. Here you go. Betty and Veronica, 1972. All right, guys, grab your bags, your shirts, and get changed. Assembly is at 10. Don't be late. Well, you know, these are actually kind of Hey, up. Fine. How fast can you get the laptop up? Do I do that now? Yeah, timing is critical. And I was thinking of a couple of other places, mostly some subreddits where we can cross post the link, keep growing our views. I don't know. Don't you think that we should at least feel the place out first? We don't even know who our new bunkmate is yet. <sighs> yeah. Losing Bennett as our number four kind of complicates things. It kind of sucks because he's our friend. And... Hey! Yeah, I'm not, I knew, I'm not saying. Look, Ryan. We're with you on this, but you gotta see where we are here, man. Like, look at the reality. We can't lose our heads. Wow, yeah, we're officially outlaws now. Sure, let's be smart, but it's still three against one. And no way whoever it is rats us out against those odds. You've got to be kidding me. Blake, you're here? With us? I got top bunk. Not okay. Uh, no, my stuff's actually it, already you know up what? there. So you know what? It's okay. We'll, we'll take the far wall. I thought All Stars are still going. Why aren't you playing? Fastball. First game of the district. No, I mean, why are you here? My dad said I was using my phone too much in the dugout. My, my therapist. Therapist? My therapist says I should take some time off so I don't miss baseball so much and feel futile from the injury. Futile? It, I kind of need What? My back. I got it. Oh, oh no. says I should okay. help out when I can. I got it, man. Help me feel this futile. Blake. I know this looks... I thought you guys would catch me listening to the Braves games. So you're not gonna rat us out? Give me the scores. We'll get along okay. Now I can't speak for the other guy. The other guy? Yeah, I met him at registration. You're bunking with us, right? I am now. 
Doesn't that look familiar? Contraband. Thanks, Levi. Pretty clever, kid. Would have been a, a little more clever if you filled up the decoy with something other than underwear. Hope that's enough to get you through. Can I at least get my socks? You three are on thin ice. Pull one more stunt like that, and you'll be on Latrine Squad for the rest of the session. Did you just say Latrine Squad? That was all my stuff. My clothes, my toothbrush, my crochet hooks. It's a dying art, I'm not ashamed of it. What's your deal, man? What's my deal? Yeah. What was that? Everyone here follows the rules. You're no exceptions. A drum. Mm -hmm. You don't understand, we needed that stuff. <sighs> Look, I know you guys are noobs, but even I wasn't this bad on my first day here. Director Suggs has a really wise philosophy. That stuff you try to sneak in isn't the real world. People don't talk in 140 characters or exist for 10 seconds. Everything here is real. And the only way you're gonna understand that is if you're completely unplugged. You can thank me when you leave. Hey guys, I'm tense. I'm going over with you fellas. Top bunk. Five minutes, camp analogers. Assembly in five minutes. Hey guys. Oh, hey man. I'm Benson. What's up, little dude? Blake, you're here? Fastball. You're in district. I don't know what that means. You gonna be okay without us? Yeah. My bunk mates seem pretty cool. We're all betas. That's what they call noobs here. Hey man, uh, no offense, but Blake kinda took your place. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we still good then? Nah. Other dude ratted him out. Other dude? Yeah. We got a fifth. No. Drone? Drone. Excuse me. Uh-huh. Can I get through? Oh, sorry. Okay, who is that? I don't know. Her voice sounds familiar. Maybe we've talked before. Caleb. Let's be honest here. The only girl you talk to is your mom. Is that true? I talk to my sister. I'm gonna find out. And your mom. You know, I like it being co-ed and all, but he seems a little eager. Well, hey. <laughs> Sorry for being in the way back there. Well, that's very polite, but don't worry about it. I saw you. We established that you saw me. You apologized? No, I mean earlier. You do the, um, broadcast, right? Mm-hmm. And how'd you get that gig? Nepotism. No, really. No, really. My dad's the director. Suggs. You know his name. Pretty good for a beta. That's my name, too. Suggs? Well, last name. Madison. Your last name is Madison. No, I'm Madison. And I'm confused. That'll happen. But my name is Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Confused? So, what's with the suspenders? Belts chafe you or something? <laughs> it's more of a rite of passage here. It's a symbol that says, old-fashioned is good enough for me. So it's not just part of the uniform. Believe it or not, everyone who wears them does so completely voluntarily because they've been here long enough to understand what Camp Analog is about. Getting away from the digital disconnection and back to the real world. Sounds like Kelso Briggs. You know Kelso? How's he doing? He's awesome. He was such a great alpha. Alpha. We like names here, noobs or betas. But once you commit yourself to our way of thinking, you become an alpha. It's awesome, like we're one big family. Who doesn't stay connected through Facebook? What's Facebook? <laughs> Heard about that stunt you pulled, newbie. I'm impressed. Look, I get it. Lots of kids get sent here for doing something stupid, like making your friend the butt of a joke in front of 200,000 people. But most of us are here because we appreciate what this place is about, which means if you don't get in line, you're not just gonna have trouble from the director. 400,000. What? Last I checked, the video had 400,000 views. Is that supposed to impress me? It means more people listen to me than they do you. And I'm not gonna help your ratio. Got a problem here? 
You heard me. Sorry, to <laughs> Company who what? At ease! On your butts. Welcome, all of you. For those of you on day one, or day 100. Welcome to the fold. On the surface, most of you probably already noticed that Camp Analog isn't all that different from the normal run-of-the-mill summer camp. In fact, we're not trying to do anything different or trendy here. We're just trying to cut the crap, right? Get back to basics. We're here to experience nature, the real world. To come together as a family, one and the same, bonding with the great outdoors. Now, maybe that sounds a bit preachy, but what can I say? It's intoxicating. See, despite what the modern digital world wants to tell you, despite all our supposed differences that make us so very special, so very unique, we're really all the same. Our brains are wired essentially the same way. We have the same needs. The colors are different, but it's the same shirt. Smartphones. You've heard of these, yes? We all have one. Even I have one that I know how to use, you know? For emergencies? Yeah. Technology has its uses. Let's be real. This isn't Camp Caveman. But the problem is, what this tells you? This tells you that you are more important than everyone else in the world. Because this becomes the center of your world. And everything is about you. But that's not what life is supposed to be. Empathy. Compassion. Selflessness. That's what we want. What we need. It's universal. This wants to disrupt that. Not just because it can't give that, but because it actively wants to destroy that. People don't talk in 140 characters. People don't exist for 10 seconds. Views don't give you a voice. I hope you're all wearing suspenders by the time you leave here. Freedom is calling. Hear its voice. Resist. So, 
A persuasive essay is a powerful writing tool to help you learn how to convince your readers or listeners why your opinion, your voice, is correct and matters. And the formula for the way you do this is simple. Introduction, body, conclusion. Let's break that down. For example, if say I want to persuade you that we're all the same, I'm going to want to hook you with a strong introductory paragraph that really sets the tone of my essay, but also clearly states exactly what I intend to argue. That we're all the same. That is my thesis. In the body of my essay, I want at least three paragraphs that use observation, supporting data, and sources to reinforce my thesis. For this example, I'd support my argument with the facts that we all share the same basic emotional and physical needs, the same place of origin, and the same basic biology. And if you're doing this topic, by the way, feel free to use any of this that's relevant to your paper. <laughs> conclusion and it's simple. Wrap up your reasons and tie everything back around to your thesis. Reasserting what you believe is true. Remember, six pages and if you're doing this topic, feel free to work together.
情呢Still alive. Yeah. And we're still alive too. One week down. Yeah. Three to go. Three. Hey, is that a problem, Thomas? Yeah, it's just... It's harder than I thought, man. I thought we'd have somebody on our side. But I didn't think it was gonna be a freaking racket. Yeah, the Alphas definitely get preferential treatment. It's making joining up very hard to turn down. It's... It's just us, man. So? It's always just us. Yeah, but this is different. At least at school, yeah, we're weird, but it's actually us. We're not just being difficult for the sake of being difficult. What do you mean? Some of this stuff actually looks fun, man. And I can't just enjoy canoeing or hiking or sitting around a campfire or just enjoying the fresh air because I gotta be a big jerk to everybody. I mean, we have to make a big stink about being different. One week. You only lasted one week. Good thing me and Caleb. You too? They never gave me back my clothes. And there's real physical trauma here. It's not like we can win the contest now anyway. What is the point of being so insubordinate? Are you kidding me? This has nothing to do with the contest. This, this has everything to do with the contest. Look, Ryan, it's always your way or the highway, and that's okay. Because it would have been fun to win this contest. Yeah, but it's over and I'm done blindly following you. How is it over? Look, I think I know where they're keeping our stuff now. Right? Night. It's over, and we're throwing it in. You should listen to him. Bite the bullet, put your head down, and just go with the flow. It'd be the easiest. Easy for you to say, Blake. You're the hypocrite with the radio. I ain't a hypocrite. I'm a sneak, and there's a difference. I just do whatever's easiest. Keep my head down, go with the flow, don't make any waves, and don't get noticed. Makes me rank, gotta. Uh, Blake, you with us, buddy? Yard ball! Well, I guess you guys made your choice. Listen to me. Oh, Bennett. Man, where have you been? I Hey man, haven't joined up yet? No. It's awesome, you get ice cream. You're just like everybody else. If I ever needed to get into the broadcast booth, um... Hey. 
Did I do something? A week ago, I thought we were hitting it off. Maybe I'm just tired of watching you be a jerk to everybody. What are you talking about? What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just trying to be myself. You're just trying to be so cool. Everyone can tell. Get over yourself and just act like a normal person, like the rest of us. I thought putting on a pair of suspenders was voluntary. Well, it is. Then why the expectation? That's what this place is really all about. The one thing we do all have in common is the expectation. Do you really not know what Facebook is? Well, I don't use it. How do you manage that? I don't have any internet. I don't have a phone. It's pretty easy. You know, it's not so bad, technology. You know, it can give you a real voice. I already have one, thank you. You mean the camp radio? I mean I can speak. Speaking and speaking your mind are two different things. What's wrong with not having an opinion? Nothing. Okay, but everyone has one. So saying that you don't have one just means you aren't willing to say it. That's not what my dad says at all. So I heard. No offense, Madison, but your dad isn't exactly living in the 21st century. Look, you don't know my dad, okay? He's a little extreme, but he means well. A little extreme? He seems to take the digital revolution personally. It is personal to him. Why? I don't want to get into it. Don't want to? Or aren't allowed to? You know, it's okay to have your own opinions. And it's also okay to keep them to yourself. When it's a choice. Hey, what's going on? Sick of your act, boy. You're the only one here ragging on our good time. Every session there's some beta like you who comes here thinking they got nothing to learn. But you're all alone, man. Yeah. No, you're right. I am alone. But you know what? At least I'm real. I'm not selling out to some paranoid propaganda just so I can have ice cream or cheat on an essay. I spare myself some well-earned bruises. You know what? I am who I am. And the rest of you, just a bunch of drones. <laughs> That's enough! Everyone calm down. Yeah, get out of here. You better meet with the director. This is big. So. What's the deal, kid? And what do you want? Brainwashing my friends? And putting your goons on me? What, is that not enough? Look, I'm on your side. Oh yeah, I'm out of here. I'll show you. Got some news. Pretty much all in suspenders, sir. Pretty much. Boyd's still not, but he's alone now. Yeah, he won't last a week. You're so sure. Is he still talking to Madison? Didn't seem to go too well for him. But they're still talking? Sir, this has happened before. We always have holdouts. Who don't associate with my daughter. I can't let this alone. Let's apply more pressure. Um. Sir, we all want to protect Madison, but aren't we here to offer these kids the better path? Let them decide? I mean, sure, let's be hard on them, but there are still boundaries, right? Jordan. You're right. Thank you. We can't lose sight of our real reason for being here, our real purpose. But Boyd is becoming a very real threat to that purpose. He's closed-minded, antisocial, and manipulative. It's not just that he won't listen. He doesn't want anyone else to listen either. He's thoroughly convinced that no opinion matters but his own. And if you don't think like him, he's gonna shout so loudly that no one can hear anything else. 
That's dangerous. We've got to squash it. We've got a mandate, boys. It's clear. Protect these kids from the Ryan Boyds of the world. Look, let's regroup tonight at the office, and we'll figure out how we're going to do that together. There's no Wi-Fi or connection to the outside world. But at least in here, the 90s happened. What is this place? Look, you're not the only one afraid of becoming a drone. You're just the only one dumb enough to run your mouth off about it. Hey, you're genuine. That's why you're here. Where did all the stuff come from? I don't really know. This place predates me. Legend goes that most of it was already here, and... I guess the rest was snuck in throughout the years. The secret of this place was passed down to a lucky few. So why show me this after you got me busted? Look, they tore into you pretty bad in the mess hall. I just wanted to let you know, you know, that you're not alone. And I don't really know you, but I'm gonna give you some advice. Your problem is that you're kind of into yourself. Oh, really? Look, you're making a big stink, man, and you're kind of making us nervous. I mean, sorry to rat you out, but the counselors were starting to get suspicious of me, and I had to make a big show, you know? Oh, well, I'm glad I could be of help. It really screwed me over. Oh, your contest. Right, because that's such a big deal. How do you know about that? You talk in your sleep. Another reason why you would have been busted, but hey. Water under the bridge, man. So that's it? You just hang out here? I mean, it's a way to remember who we really are, you know? Stay one step ahead of the hive mind. So you're just hiding? Pretend when everyone's looking and when they're not. It's the smartest thing to do. I mean, it's what Blake's been doing, what your friends are doing now. Honestly, probably most of the camp. Suggs is so desperate for his converts, they started prioritizing class structure over actual conversion. So you're kind of an idiot if you don't join the flock. You just do what they want and they'll leave you alone. Everyone gets it but you. Okay, wait a minute. So you're saying that most of the camp is just hiding? That they aren't really buying in? Yeah, it's fairly obvious. Okay, so why then is everyone just rolling over? When if it's really almost the entire camp? <laughs> then we have the power. Wait, I don't, I don't like where this is um, going. No, 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 you said it yourself. Most of the camp, they think like us. They're just pretending to get through this because they're afraid everyone else is against them. No way, man. Why don't we let them know what's really going on? Look, even if we had the numbers, we don't have the power. Okay, Suggs is an adult, and the counselors are older than us. The odds are stacked against us. I mean, it's easier just to keep up the facade. Okay, look, I understand you guys. You think you got it made. I also understand that's all you care about. But I got friends who don't know about this place. And I got friends who are starting to become drones because they don't know they can be themselves while everyone else being against them. What you guys have here, I'll admit, it's great for you. But it's selfish. He's trying to sound like Suggs. Well, you know what? If we're gonna be better than Suggs, and we can't make him right. Suggs thinks that if we are who we really are, then all we're capable of is caring about ourselves. Oh wait, but that's exactly what you're saying. Well, I'm good. Forget about everyone else. If we're gonna win... The point isn't to win, it's to survive. The point is to remember who we really are. That's what you said. So are we really what Suggs says we are? Or are we better? Right, guys. 
So, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to need a voice. Something big, something they'll hear all over camp. Any ideas? I might. She's a part of this too? Um, I know. I follow you. I mean, I'm not saying that we're right, but maybe every voice should have a chance to be heard. Still want to use the radio? I'll use the lamp. Penny? Who's that? Don't worry about that. Here. You sure about this? So long as you make what you say count. Ready out there, Levi? I won't take him alone to get here once we start. I'll hold him off as long as I can. Camp analogers. Alphas. Betas. Fellow country. Friends. The powers that be are of a certain mind that the best way to live your life is to follow. It's to be an unquestioning part of a group. But I know we're not the only ones here who don't agree with that notion. I know some of you, even some of you wearing suspenders, don't believe this is the truth. And today we're going to convince you why it's time to stand up. And challenge this idea. Wait, something's wrong. Ambush! Let's get him! What's up? I'm trying. I'm... Wait right there! Go. What? Where is he? What's up? Let's do with him. Where he is? Blake? Nothing personal. I'm getting a watch out of this. Let go me! Look, talk. Look, I already said I don't know where he is. Right. You're part of the inner circle. How the heck don't you know? Nobody knows. Not even the counselors. I don't buy it. Me neither. Look. I'm trying to figure it out, too. Yeah, right. Just let me go, and I can explain. Explain what? Then I'm on your side. Sorry, don't really care, but I don't even buy that. Look, I was there last night at the broadcast booth. I was helping him. Oh, yeah, you were helping him. Yeah, Madison was there, too. That's how we got in. Suggs got her, too. Wait, Madison? Suggs' daughter was there? Why the heck would she be there? Because this whole place is a charade. Last night, we were trying to blow the lid off of everything. Why didn't you get caught? Because I was standing guard! Right, you probably ratted on them just like you ratted on us. No, 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 I swear, I swear I didn't. No, I don't know how Suggs got him. I, I, I guess he was just in the office. Okay, so, so. well why didn't you help? Look, I didn't think that Suggs and them saw me, so I thought I could be more help if they still thought I was a loyal alpha. Yeah, no. <laughs> we don't believe you're double agent in this. We know you're a true believer, man. Oh yeah? Because last time I checked, I'm not the only one here wearing suspenders. 
So what, you guys can just play along and I can't? You, uh, you really haven't heard anything? Sug doesn't mess around when it comes to his daughter. I wouldn't be surprised if he shipped him home last night. <laughs> 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 what the mess? He's making an example out of her. He's gone too far. Ryan was right. We gotta stop this. But if he's doing that to his own daughter, how much trouble is Ryan in? Yeah. Well, we can't do anything about that. There is something we can do. Yeah, finish what they started. I'm a sneak. I'm not a bungle. Well, was it worth it? Good question. Was it? Maybe you should be asking yourself the same thing about this camp. Talk back. Original. Look, your goons told me last night, okay? Isolation cabin and latrine duty for the rest of the month. As far as I'm concerned, our business is finished. You shut up. I want to talk to you. Why was Madison with you? What? Why was she there? She didn't say. But she agrees with you? I think most of the camp agrees with me. I don't care about the camp. Did she agree with what you had to say? Mr. Sutter. Does she think I'm wrong? You're gonna have to ask her that. Why do you hate smartphones so much? You know, I know you're not much for listening. But I thought I made that pretty clear at first assembly. No. It's something else, isn't it? The world can be a very cruel place. The less access it has to my family, the better. There's nothing wrong with your radios. Do not attempt to adjust them. We are controlling transmission. The resistance is not dead. The time for hiding is over. We need to make our stand. The powers that be are of a certain mind that the best way to live your life is to follow, is to be an unquestioning part of the group. But I know that we're not the only ones here who don't agree with that notion. I know some of you, even some of you wearing suspenders, don't believe that this is the truth. Today we're going to convince you why it's time to stand up and challenge this idea. Because if we can't be who we really are, if we have to hide part of ourselves in the shadows, how can we really be free? We're being taught to resist our individuality because we're told individuality can only be selfish. But on the contrary, you're being talked down to. You're being told something is black and white, good and bad, right and wrong, because we're a bunch of kids and that's all we know, right? Kids are always wrong and adults are always right. Yeah. I don't think so. Let me illustrate. In E.T. E.T., who was right? The worried parents? The scary government officials? Or the kids who protected E.T.? Come on, man. Let's go. Okay, what is it with you? First you didn't show up at the office last night, and now this is red alert. Let's go. No. What? We lost sight of what we're supposed to do here. What? You're, you're saying these little, uh, these little creeps are right? No. Just can't be a part of this right now. It's not right. Yeah, it's not. I know that some of you feel this way. You feel pressure to be a part of this charade, this burying of who you really are, because you think everyone else actually buys into what Suggs and his followers are trying to tell you. 
but that's not true. Because you're not alone, and you aren't some drone. You're you. You're a stinking, unique, special snowflake, and you don't like those stupid suspenders. This is our stand. We don't have to pretend to be drones anymore. The resistance must make its stand. So if you're with us, show your strength at the fire circle. We're holding a resistance assembly. Starting now. over. Over? I'll make an example of every one of them. What? You can hear their voices from here. They've inspired the entire camp. You can't possibly punish everyone. There just aren't enough tools to go around. Do you think this is the first insurrection I've ever had to squash? There are far worse punishments than latrine duty, boy. If I can't keep this camp in line with incentives, I'll keep them in line with fear. What is it about free thought that terrifies you? There's no such thing as free thought, son. Everything we think, we think because of our friends, our culture, and this part of the war. The war? Kind of crazy. I know. So, what now? Traitor! What's going on? I want my what? And everyone! They need our help, so let's get them! Aren't you going to do anything? Therapist says I should stay out of other people's business. For your emotional well-being. No, because the arm. past that. This is an insurrection, an act of war that makes you all prisoners. It's 
little stand of yours has made it perfectly clear that I've gotten too soft around here. Too easy for the snakes to lie in the grass. Too easy for the frauds to go undetected. I've been entrusted by your parents, your guardians, your communities to save you from a selfish and violent world. I failed. There's going to be some changes around here. You can't protect yourselves from the world. But I can. Sir, are you? Sir? I said shut up! Dad. Dad, you sound... Are you okay? I'm sorry I couldn't keep your sister safe. I'm not going to let the voices get to you. Dad, please, is that what this is about? About what Penny did? She didn't do anything. They drove her to it. She was the victim. Dad, please, listen to me. This is something you need to hear. Not a word, Madison. Dad. Please, you're I scary. I said no She could hear with the bad voices. All the awful things they said about her. Every name they called her. What it led her to do. I read every single one of them. <laughs> How could I let those voices into our home? Maybe you understand now. The war. What I'm trying to protect her from. What I'm trying to protect all of you from. Yeah. And I've been a bully myself. We've all been. You know, and that's something we've got to own. And be accountable for never doing again. And we've got to fight it. But I do know that there's got to be a better way than this to fight. You can't silence the bad voices. 
unless you stop the beautiful ones too. Maybe we do need to make some changes. <laughs> Progress. Nice work, fellas. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, yeah, deal's a deal. Here. Let me guess, uh, doing the right thing for free is something your therapist recommended? No, just something friends do. I wonder if those little punks learned anything. What well, we did. We're here to show them that there's a better way. Maybe this time, they helped us see one too. Is he okay, your dad? He's better. I still doubt I'm getting a phone anytime soon, but I think he stopped blaming himself. At least some. And I really do think he started listening to me now. Well, um, you know, stay in touch. Even if it's via snail mail. But I really do wish you guys the best. Thanks. What? So, the revolution was a success. I guess in the end, I'm the one thanking you. Well, I guess it's not that simple though. I mean, he had a point. People can be cruel and lying. And they only hear what they want to hear. It's like we all subscribe to one of three opinions. Maybe we really don't think much for ourselves. People can be drones, sure. But people can surprise you, too. I think that's what sucks best. He underestimated you, right? No. He underestimated us. Hi, sis. I'm on the phone. You seem chipper. Well, it's a beautiful day and I'm coming back to the real world. Since you guys didn't cause a riot while you were here, knock yourselves out. Awesome. Man, I've got like 2,000 notifications. Yeah, I gotta see what I'm missing. E3, Comic-Con, puppy pictures. Did we win? 
Maybe. But if we win it with that video, maybe it's not something we really want to win. Yeah, but what about having a voice? Would that be the one we want to have? Well, we survived. Yeah. And nothing will ever be the same. Yeah. 